Hey guys, it's Dustin. I have the thing I've been waiting a couple of months for now. Um, well, I've been talking about it for a couple of months. Got my LED lights in today. I'm going to do a real quick unboxing. Uh, these lights are from reefbreeders.com. Um, great set of LED lights. Just going to, for tonight, show you guys what's in the box. Um, still going to need to get these mounted. I think I'm going to hang these from the ceiling. Well, I know I'm going to hang them from the ceiling. Um, stuff I went to the store tonight and picked up um, doesn't quite, at the hardware store, doesn't quite work. Um, they didn't have the appropriate stuff, and I tried to come up with something with one of the guys that was there uh, to, to mount these and, and make a good uh, base for these lights in the ceiling. It's just not going to work the way I wanted it to. Uh, once I do get that stuff going, though, I do. I am going to do a video of the different hardware that I did pick up to hang these from the ceiling, what it came with, uh, how I used what it came with, and uh, do a little video of that, uh, just because I haven't found a whole lot out there that's easy to find on YouTube, so I'll be putting a video out on that uh, later this week as well, and then of course doing updates on how the uh, how the lights look and on the tank, and updates on the tank, of course. This is all going on the 65 gallon tank, of course. Um, I have opened these lights because last video I did I didn't open the box and it was kind of a pain to get them open but anyway so go ahead and pop off the tape I put on there to hold it until I did the video and I repackaged everything the way it was when I opened it so um, right here on the top we have a layer of a little bit of foam here um, packaging uh, start down here at this end Right there, you got the power cord and the mounting kit for the ceiling. Comes standard with this mounting kit. Um, basically, what we're looking at here is this is a nut that screws into the top back of the uh, the light. Here's the other side. Um, so we have one for this side of the light, and then another one for the other side of the light. You run these two up to the ceiling and attach it with this carabiner to uh, whatever mounting thing you choose to, to uh, get like an eyelet or something coming out of your ceiling. Um, put that to the side, keep going here. Got the, the power cord, just a standard US plug. Um, it's the same plug that you would get with a computer, some type of plug. If you have one of those laying around, you could use one of those as well. Um, it is I don't know what the hell you would call this side mount, I guess. You put it down in there, it comes out the side instead of coming out the top like a normal computer cable does. But I'm going to put that to the side. Um, and here is the light fixture. Comes with a little instruction booklet. There's not much to this, um, but it's nice to have it. it. Most of the stuff it's telling you in here is pretty common sense, but I'll take you through that. Uh, probably in the next video um, how to actually operate the lights once I get them hooked up um, the other thing it did come with which is, I thought was pretty cool it's this little little remote control here um, it's got a power button menu um, left and right to navigate through the menus up and down okay to select something and then it's got four four mode buttons and one manual up and down. I'm not quite sure what the star does yet. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to mess with it. Um, just taking this video after I got home from work today. Um, let's go ahead and pull this unit out. It's a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna put this down, put the camera down for just a second. So here we are again. Um, basically what we're looking at here is the top side of the unit. Uh, that's where one side of the mounting, or one half of the mounting stuff comes into. Um, to where you screw it onto. And then over here is the other half. Um, two separate mounting cables. Again, those will go up to your ceiling. Uh, there's the power supply. 
Um, I'm gonna have to read and figure out what that is for. I'm not quite sure just yet. I'm guessing that's for a rail mounting system. Um, looks like maybe you would slip a screw head in there and shift it back to hold it in and then this would be, I don't know, some kind of uh, bracketing system that holds it in place. Uh, not real familiar with LED lights yet, but I'm going to start studying up obviously now that I have this unit. Um, flip this around. I said it's probably about 10-12 pounds or so. Um, there goes the aquarium light, the hell I just went on the 65. Um, as you can see, there is the bottom side of the fixture uh, that will point down towards the tank, obviously. There is, I forget how many LEDs on this thing, but they're all 3 watt LEDs. There's two reds, I think 50-50 on the blues and whites. Um, do, do, do. There are 90 degree optics on there. Uh, the biggest thing that sold me on this particular unit is this right here. This is the control panel for, it's, it's like a built-in controller rather, for the unit. Um, it's a little hard to see right now, but once I plug this in, I'll be able to program this LED fixture to come on. Half hour, every half hour I can change the lighting increments, control the channel one and channel two. Uh, channel one, I believe, is the blues. Um, channel 2 is your whites and reds so every half hour I can change the percentage that those are coming on um, turn them up turn them down so I'll have a, a daily light cycle um, starting you know with the, the blue moon LEDs in the morning after you know, however so long bring them up a little bit more bring them up a little bit more and then turn in the whites a certain percentage um, bring the whites up bring the whites up once I get to the blues and whites to where my max is going to be for the day, leave them on for about an hour, two hours, whatever, and then start bringing them back down for a total light cycle. Of, I'm guessing around 10, 11 hours is what I'm going to shoot for. Um, probably an hour to two hours of that is going to be some very low power blue uh, moon LEDs. Um, the remote obviously um, helps with that as well. The custom setting is the way you can program these things. Um, and then you have <clears throat> a setting for like cloudy days, setting for, setting for sunny day, uh, the moon setting. Um, of course, there it is. Go ahead and get that back out. I'll go over this in more detail again once I get the uh, the video up uh, of the actual tank running, or of these actually on the tank. So you have cloudy, sunny, moon, custom, and manual. Custom is the setting that's going to go through the light cycle that I set up. Um, moon is obviously moon lights. Manual is going to let you bring both channels up or down. Um, sunny is 100% of everything. Cloudy, I think, was like 40 or 50% of everything. And then the star button, I'm not exactly sure on just yet. But like I said, once I get these things up and running, um, get them mounted, I will do a follow-up video to show you guys how they look on the tank, uh, show you how the tank looks. It should make all the color in the coral pop. Uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm running a 10K ML halide so everything's really washed out. So um, getting these blue LEDs in there in the mix should uh, really take everything up a notch. Anyway hey guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you have anything, uh, any comments about the lights, any suggestions on light cycles maybe, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the button below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.